How do you do? I am Julia Sumner Miller. I am the professor in this weird and strange and uncommon place. And professor of what, you say? And I say physics. And what shall we be engaged with this time? A wonderful, enchanting matter called the case of the three-hold can. A can with three holes. Huh. And so we call it a three-hole can. A demonstration of my emerging genius. Now, this experiment will have to be virtual. By virtual, I mean in this instance, we will have to imagine it. We will have to imagine it. Imagine it. Because it calls for running water and a messy thing. So we will imagine it. I want you to put on your thinking caps and I will tell you the story forthwith of the three-hole can. Here is the can with three holes. One hole, two holes, three holes, so. And the can has a total height, capital H. And this hole here is one quarter of the way down, one quarter H. And this hole is two quarters of the way down, two quarters H, which is one half H, which is in the middle of the can. And this hole is three quarters of the way down. And thus the holes are symmetrically placed. Now first the holes are stopped up. And then we put water into this depth. Water, 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 water. Uh-huh. Ah, my finger got wet. How many see the need for imagination? Yeah, there's water there. There is water there. Now we are going to keep the water level fixed by water coming in from a tower, a tank on the top of this castle. Water's coming in. First question. We pull the plugs so that the water comes out. Remember keeping the level constant. We have pulled the plugs all together like that and the water comes out. I ask first, how fast does the water come out? Well, suppose and I say it comes out at a velocity V there, six feet per second. Then since this is twice the depth, maybe it comes out at twice the velocity there. And since this is three times the depth, maybe it comes out with three times the velocity there. And that is the usual answer to the matter, but that is wrong. So I leave it to you first to inquire with your teachers and books and such, if that's a velocity V, what is this and what is that? So that's the first question. What are the velocities at the three orifices? Now, the next question is more profound. I want to know the path of the water to the tabletop on which the can stands. Can, filled with water, pull the stoppers, water's coming out. Let me draw the paths of the water. Deepest hole, greatest pressure, say so. Less depth, less pressure, so. Less depth still, less pressure, so. That is a reasonable view. But some say, no, Professor, I'm going to have it different. I'm going to have it different. I'm going to have it so, so, and so. All the same. And there are others who say, no, Professor, I'm going to have it so. <clears throat> now let me comment on some of these. This one is classical, and this one is in many books, and this one is thought by many to be right, and it is wrong. This one is thought by some to be right. The same range from all three holes. And this is wrong. This is thought by some to be true. And I say that those who think this are dangerous for the human race.